This is Coogan Cassis Fry from London. We're at the Emirates Arena here in Glasgow for the press conference between Ricky Burns and Jose Gonzalez fighting on the bill. I've got John Slowey. How are you, John? We meet again, Coogan. I'm good, mate. We do meet again. Uh, yeah, it's not enough, but it's, it's enough. It's going to have to do, isn't it? It's going to have to do, indeed. Um, you're fighting Eddie Nesbitt uh, in six free rounds um, this week on the Ricky Burns bill. Uh, talk to me. How are you feeling about this fight? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a good fight for television, I think, because he's a he's a come forward strong fighter, and I'm a counter punch in southpaw, so I think it's going to be make good television. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, you're still unbeaten. Will you be looking perhaps for your first stoppage win this week? Um, possibly, you know. But as I, as I've told you before, I'm in no rush. Um, if it comes, it comes. I'm not not a big puncher. Um, I'm happy to get the rounds under my belt, and we'll see what happens on Saturday. Um, Obviously, Ricky Burns headlines his show, a big show back on Sky Sports in Scotland for the Scottish fighters. So, uh, what's, you know, I've asked a couple of the other boxers this, what's been the vibe around Scotland and Glasgow uh, over this this whole bill in general? You know, everyone's been talking about the show, it's going to be massive. And um, I think, the, obviously, the headline act, Ricky and Gonzalez, is going to be the main attraction. But we've got John Simpson fighting Choi, who's going to be a great fight, it's going to be a war. Stephen's fighting for a Celtic title. Um, and there's some really good prospects, as myself, as David Brophy, um, and some other good fighters, Michael Roberts and that in the show, so it's going to be really good. Um, people are buzzing for it. Indeed. Um, you'll be pleased to know that I've had square sausages this morning. I had three. Three's a lot, innit? I've had three. Mate, three? No, nah, come on, I do four easily, mate. Really? Oh, not a problem. Easily. I had three of them. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm looking forward to a square sausage. We've got to watch my weight cooking. I don't want to turn into a super featherweight overnight, no, do you? No, not at all, mate. I'm happy where I am. <laughs> um, do you take any notice of the featherweight scene on the world scene? Um, yeah, you know, a little bit. Um, I mean, who have we got just now? We've got Rigondo featherweight, haven't we? No, no, Rigondo's super bantam. Bantam. Quite fight the other day between um, Abner Mahrez and Daniel Ponce de Leon, yeah. which was at featherweight. Did you see that fight? No, I never saw it, but you there. I was there. I was in uh, Las Vegas for that fight, and it was... a. Uh, uh, it was a great fight. Abner Mahrez was uh, was class and uh, showed it in the end. Yeah, well, what about myself? Do you, do you rate me up there with them? Listen, a few more fights. <coughs> Who knows? Who knows? I'm not going to listen. I'm not going to. I'm not going to knock anyone. But like I said, they're like at the top of their weight division. You're up and coming, and you know, if your chance comes on that stage at any point in your career, I'm sure you'll take it with both hands. Definitely, mate. Um, I think we're a bit away from that, you know, but I'm happy just to keep doing what I'm doing just now and keep winning and then these big fights will come. I can just see it now. John Slowey versus Abner Mahrez in Glasgow. Definitely. And the velodrome, naming lights. Listen, I'll speak to Eddie Earn. We'll see if we can make that fight happen. That's out for me, Coogan. We'll get this sorted. Make us all millionaires. Definitely, definitely. All right, well, John, uh, thank you very much for talking to me from London and we look forward to the bill Saturday and see you at the Wayne. Excellent. I'll see you then. Thank Cheers. you very much. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>